Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Kia Sorento EX. Now the most notable features on this EX is its heated front seat, so you have your heated steering wheel along with your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Kia Sorento EX. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this EX is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look, you have your hood deflector. And over on the side, you'll see your 17-inch wheels. And taking a look up top, you have your integrated signal lamps. And then on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just so that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Traction control on and off, blind spot monitoring on and off. And then on the inside of the driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls along with your power folding mirrors, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Taking a look, you have your Bluetooth connectivity, voice recognition, mode select, volume control, and seek function, and then you have your cruise control setting over on your right-hand side. It does offer you the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-information display, you'll see a couple of different features on there, which include your digital speedometer. You can go through your audio, service, and your settings menu, just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Taking a look just at your center dash as well as your touch panel, or I should say your display, you have your AM, FM as well as your CD player and your satellite radio. You have a digital clock on there and then if you go inside your setup menu, you'll find your additional settings through here. Down below you have your hazard lights, temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, heated steering wheel. Taking a look at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the digital compass. And I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you have your backup camera as well as your rear hatch release located underneath your Kia emblem. Closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have the carb cover in the back, which is great. This can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. You have the foldable rear seat for yourself, just in case you do need the additional cargo space. And if we take a look underneath the floor, you're going to see some of the floor storage space where you can hide away some of your valuables and some more additional room underneath here, but you'll also find your jack and tool kit here as well. Over on the right-hand side, you'll find the power outlet. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com. Need us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.